Hey, how y'all doing? Captain Cephas here, and about this time each year, I get to do one of my favorite episodes for the season. It's where we introduce the new boat for the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing series. Now, I don't do this to chest pound and say, look at me. Instead, it's an opportunity for me to share some insight on things that you might want to consider when you're in the market for a new boat or a boat that's going to be new to you. So crank up your DVR and get ready to embark on a journey to achieve new boat nirvana. It's all happening on this Nuts and Bolts episode. Look at that! Look at the size of this snapper, guys. He won't even fit in a net. Oh, wow! Woo! He's burning! Got Get you some of that. Sharks in the water everywhere. There he is! Woo! Get him, son! Get him! That's what I'm talking about. There he goes. There he comes, here he comes. Yeah, look at that! Yeah, he's on there. Yeah! Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, look at him. Oh, my God. It's an awesome fish. If he moves, I'm going to scream. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, oh, my goodness. Look at that. It has been a great, crappy day. Absolutely. <laughs> it's magnificent. That's a that bolt fishing, baby. Is a man right there. All right. The Nuts and Bolts of Fishing is brought to you by Creval Boats. Family-friendly boats focused on reliability, durability, and excellence in design. Get what you want with Creval. Honda Marine, superior performance, better technology. Honda Marine, the power of boating. Scotty Fishing, leading the way with high-performance downriggers, rod holders, and fishing accessories. Scotty, the way to fish. Simrad. The leader in marine navigation for over 60 years. Simrad, go with confidence. Gamakatsu, the world's best fishing hooks, period. And by Sirius XM Marine Weather, contemporary weather radar and storm information displayed right on your chart plotter. Okay, so let's say that you're in the market to buy a boat, and if that's the case, well, congratulations. But whether it's going to be a new boat or a used boat that's new to you, you want to be sure that the boat you select is structurally sound, it uses quality components and craftsmanship, and it's seaworthy to get you to your destination and home again safely every time. Now, let me say this right up front. I'm not here to disparage any manufacturer or any boat. As a matter of fact, the boat that's right for me may not be the boat that's right for you. In fact, the decision on what boat fits your needs is up to you. Now, that decision would be based on perhaps a combination of factors like where you're going to be boating, how many people you'll have on the boat at any given time, and what kind of activities you might be doing, and of course, what kind of budget you have. Now, to help you navigate through this virtual maze of options, we've developed a boat buyer's guide that you can download from the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing website. So today, what I'm going to share with you are some of the things that I look for in a quality boat, from how the hull is laid up to the fit and finish as it comes off the line. And we're going to go behind the scenes and see how great boats are made when the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing returns. Trust is a quality that's earned over time. Through our greatest triumphs and humble defeats. It's built on dependability, extraordinary strength, and true confidence. day, trust is about being able to deliver on promises time after time. Built to last. Made to work. Trust Scotty. Prepare for takeoff in 
in three, two, one. Oh, there he is. Whoa, look at that. There he is. How about that? There he is. Get you some of that. That is a man right there. Spend more time on the water this boating season with an incredibly reliable Honda Outboard. Inspired by Honda's legendary automotive technology, Honda Outboards offer the kind of power, reliability, and fuel efficiency you'd expect from the world's largest engine manufacturer. Whether you're thinking about a new boat or just repowering, you owe it to yourself to look at Honda. See your local Honda Marine dealer or visit us online today. Honda Marine, the power of boating. Now, wouldn't it be great to see exactly how a quality boat is built? And remember, a lot of the quality craftsmanship is on the inside of the boat and things you wouldn't normally see from the outside. So it's important to know that the boat you choose is built right from the start. And that's what brought me here to Creval Boats. So how are, how are these working out? Are we putting them in easy? Very easy. Good. Yeah. See the Loctite in place Meet there. Nick Engel, the president of Creval Boats. He has degrees in both naval architecture and marine engineering. Now that's not necessarily unusual for a boat builder, but what you don't see every day is the top executive having a hands-on role in the process. His philosophy is quite simple. Build the best boat with the best quality components that is both fishing and family friendly. Crevals are probably set apart from the rest of the market not by one singular thing. There's going to be, it's a lot of small bits and pieces that make up the system. Um, and it's an attention to detail throughout. We don't choose parts that go in our boats just because they're a nickel cheaper. We choose them because they're best in class. Um, it, and it makes, at the end of the day, that's what makes the boat as a whole better. Um, that being said, we do have a lot of innovative design features and requirements. You know, we, we make sure that two coolers are standard on every boat because I've never been able to go fishing um, without two coolers. One's for fish, one's for food. That's just the way it is. So that needs to be designed into the boat. Um, safety is a big factor. You know, most of us have kids. I have two girls. I want them to be safe on a product that I built. That's why we have the slightly higher gunnels and grab holds everywhere you can go and no sharp corners that little heads can get knocked on. Um, so safety is a big factor. Ride is a big factor. You know, we design our holes with a little bit more dead rise than most. We also design them with a notch in the back that feeds lots and lots of water to the propeller, so our shallow water takeoff is unlike any other boat in the category. Um, so it's, it's not just one thing, it's a whole system that comes together. Creval is what I'd consider a semi-custom boat builder. They offer two hulls, a 24-footer and a 26-footer, each of which can come in a variety of configurations and layouts based on what you as the owner want. Today, Creval builds three major models. We have our 24 bay, 26 bay, and the 26 open, and there are multiple variations of each, hard tops, second stations, etc. cetera. Uh, so you can make that boat your own. Uh, there are very few Creval's that are actually alike. But regardless of the model and options you select, they all begin by spraying gel coat on a series of molds in Creval's environment controlled spray booth. Okay, so here is where a Creval is born. This is the spray booth. This is where the gel coat process starts, Chad. And there's a lot of folks don't realize, but you really build a boat from the outside in. Correct. So when you walk up to a boat and you see the color of the boat, that's the very first product that goes on a mold. They spray the gel coat and then they build from that gel coat interior into the boat. Quality control starts in the spray booth. As the gel coat is applied, it's checked for thickness too thick and there's a potential for stress cracks to appear. Too thin and you'll be able to see the underlying fiberglass layers beneath. 
When it's just right, you've got a hull that will look beautiful for years. Once the deck, hull, and other components like live wells and T-tops have been gel coated, they're moved to the fiberglass shop where layup begins. So this is Miss Sharon, and Miss Sharon builds boats. Now you take a lot of pride in what you do, right? Yes, I do. So you run the crew here that does uh, the layup, right? Yes, they do the layup and I run the gun. Now how long have you been building boats? I've been building boats for about 14, 15 years. 14 or 15 years. Do you feel like the boats that you build are really kind of your babies? Yes, they are. <laughs> they belong to me. <laughs> so you're just loaning them to somebody yes. for a few years. Right, yes, they're I really Miss Sharon's boats. Yes, they are. Good deal. So <laughs> you guys take care of you, your new Crevel because they really belong to Miss Sharon. <laughs> These are Sharon boats, and I'm just loaning them out to other folks. <laughs> In the layup area, Miss Sharon and her crew use a combination of resin, fiberglass cloth, and high-tech composites to build up the hull and deck. The glass cloth is custom cut on site for each hull from varying thicknesses and weaves to give the hull its strength and provide a solid foundation for the remainder of the components. When these guys get finished laying up the hull, ultimately this is how thick it is. That's a strong boat. The deck is laid up in the same way, and in key stress areas or where another component will be attached, like the T-top cleats or hatches, aluminum reinforcing plates, or ultralight super strong core materials are added to provide solid backing and sturdiness. It's a process that takes a little more time and material, but Creval believes every boat they build should be the best it can be. So boat building is a very painstaking process. It's very labor intensive. Here at Creval Boats, every piece of fiberglass is built in-house by skilled craftsmen. During my tour of the plant, one of the first things I noticed was the inside temperature. This is central Florida and it's late summer. It's 98 plus degrees outside and about 80% humidity. But in the plant, it's 75 degrees. And as I found out, this atmosphere controlled environment is not only great for the workers, it's also a key factor in the boat building process itself. Now that is something you don't often see in a boat manufacturer's facility, air conditioning. As a matter of fact, it's cool in here and we're in Central Florida, Chad. That's correct. It's very hot, very humid in Central Florida. One of the key benefits to having air conditioning in a facility like this is simply a controlled environment, not only for our employees, but for the product that we build. So our employees don't have to be chemists they can keep their chemical reactions consistent throughout the year and remain comfortable. With a controlled environment, it allows them to be able to time their, the kicking of the product better so they can get it rolled out, get all the material applied, and have an excellent finished product. Once the hull, deck, hatches, stringers, and everything else that's made of fiberglass have been built and cured, it's time to pop them from their molds for assembly. Workers place wedges between the components and the mold and then inject air to separate the pieces. From there, the individual elements move to the cut and grind area. And this is where excess fiberglass from the molding process is trimmed away and holes are cut for speakers, hatches, through holes, and other major hardware. And the deck gets a similar treatment. Creval takes the time to sand and grind away rough edges, even in areas you don't see. So what we've got going on here is sanding in the bilge area. So once we have a completed boat, when you open up the access to your bilge and you look in, you have a nice clean gelled surface. So he's going back and sanding and grinding the areas to make sure we don't have any fine hairs or anything sticking up. All right, now we've seen the hull being laid up. This is the stringer system. And the stringer grid here is basically the backbone of the boat or the spine of the boat. This is the component that actually provides structure to your hull to give it strength. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> These are simply pull tabs on the top that'll allow the guys to grab a hold of it with a hoist and pop it out. Right. We have relief cut areas for wiring and, and, uh, and tubing to flow through. 
Now the way this attaches to the hull is it'll, it'll be popped off the mold here, dropped in the hull, and then you actually glass this end of the hull. Yes, so there are some builders that use a methacolate or a, a type of adhesive. We don't, we'll actually trim this, sit it down in the hull, and then tab it in with fiberglass so the structural backbone or the stringer system and the hull becomes one piece. One piece, and that's key. That gives you stability, it gives you a more solid ride, and you know that you've got a quality sound boat underneath your feet too. And before moving to the next station on the production line, everything goes through another inspection. This time there's a particular emphasis on the outer finish. Now that the hull is out of the mold, Anthony takes one of his high-tech tools, which is really a, just a cut piece of starboard, and he's checking all the hard angles on the boat for air pockets or imperfections. Now, so far, nothing. This hull's good to go, and it's kind of noisy. Before the hull and deck sections are bonded together, the stringers are filled with foam. This high density foam expands to fill all the below deck spaces and serves as flotation, as well as providing additional structural support for the hull and the deck. As the hull and deck progress along the production line, another assembly team works to install electronics, breaker panels, and other accessories in the console and T-top and they attach the wiring harnesses for pumps, lighting, speakers, trolling motor, and engine controls. But once the wires have been fed through the chases, it can be difficult to trace a particular wire from one end of the boat to the other. So Creval came up with a solution that makes it easy to identify every wire on the boat, anywhere on the boat. Now, if you own a boat, at some point in time, you're going to have to chase down an electrical gremlin. Now, at Crevel, they label, they laser etch every wire on the boat every 12 inches, making it easy to find the wire you're looking for and trace down the problem. Like this one, for instance, hard top ground. Another good sign that these guys build a quality boat. Up next, we'll move to the finishing area to see the hull and deck come together, along with all the other accoutrements that go into building the new Wide Open 2. Prepare for takeoff in three, two, one. Oh, there he is. Whoa, look at that. There he is. How about that? There he is. Get you some of that. That is a man right there. Trust is a quality that's earned over time. Through our greatest triumphs and humble defeats. It's built on dependability, extraordinary strength, and true confidence. At the end of a long but epic day, trust is about being able to deliver on promises time after time. Built to last, made to work. Trust Scotty. The Creval plant in Wildwood, Florida has two main wings. The first is the production area, where the hull, deck, console, stringers, and other fiberglass parts are made. Once these components pass inspection, they move to the finish area for wiring, plumbing, and hardware. While the hull and deck are still two separate pieces, pumps for the bilge, washdown, and live wells are installed, after all the wiring and plumbing is complete, 
it's time to marry the hole and dig. Everything has been built. We've added plumbing, electrical, wiring harnesses, fixed all the wiring harnesses inside, all in preparation to slide over top of the hull, be brought down and bonded directly with the hull. They've used bonding putty on all the stringers, which is a method of bonding the two together. With the hull and deck now attached as one unit, stainless steel screws complete the marriage. These screws are installed beneath a routed channel called the scribe line, which serves a very distinct purpose. So if you notice on the deck, there's what we call a scribe line. We have scribed through the gel coat and into the fiberglass. We've done that on the deck and on the hull. All the screw holes are below that scribe line and the purpose there is to prevent any possible gel stress from propagating out from underneath the rub rail. Assembly continues as the console, T-top, and leaning post get mounted. A combination of high strength adhesive and stainless fasteners secure the console. And to prevent galvanic corrosion, which can occur when dissimilar metals make contact, Creval through bolts the leaning post to backing materials made of phenolic instead of aluminum. Now when you put your leaning posts and T-tops on the boat, you've got to have some way to fasten them so that they're sturdy and substantial and they're not going to come out of the deck. Now what a lot of manufacturers do is they'll put a metal backing plate under the deck and then fasten through that way. Well that potentially introduces galvanic corrosion because it's when two dissimilar metals meet, not with Creval. They instead resin into the hull, into the deck, these pieces of structural phenolic material, eliminating the potential for galvanic corrosion. That way they could come back and tap through the hull into the phenolic and fasten the leaning posts and their T-tops. After all the wiring harnesses are connected, the engine has been mounted and systems are checked, the boat goes through a final inspection process. Now this inspection scrutinizes every component from bow to stern and is the last one of many that has taken place during the boat's evolution from gel coat and fiberglass to a finished fishing machine. And it's not a Creval until John says it's a Creval. Atta boy. Now my 24 Bay had a few extra factory installed options, including the full second station with Simrad Electronics up top, Optimus Electronic Power Steering and C-Star jack plate for the Honda BF250 outboard, a 10 foot power pole, and some really cool accessories like the ScanStrut rock waterproof USB charging port, LED underwater lights, and a kicking fusion stereo system that interfaces with my Sirius XM radio. For secure footing throughout the deck, I decided to add Sea Deck non-skid marine flooring on the main deck, as well as the gunnels and elevated casting deck surfaces. And Crevel's president, Nick Engel, is a hands-on executive, so he did the honors of installing the Sea Deck on my boat. That afternoon, my Honda-powered Creval 24 Bay came rolling out of the factory on its custom-wrapped Magic Tilt trailer. And of course, we had to take a few pictures to celebrate the occasion. This portion of the Nuts and Bolts of Fishing has been presented by PowerPole, Swift, Silent, Secure. Project X Tackle, supercharged, super-scented swim baits that won't dry out. Bushido Warrior Rods, built to fish the way you do. Optimus Electronic Power Steering from Seastar. Sea Deck Marine Products, style, comfort, and durability. Sea Deck Non-Skid is quality you can depend on. Hey, how y'all doing? Captain Cephas and uh, Buck the Wonder Dog here. You know, I've been telling you for years about the effectiveness and the versatility of whoop-ass bucktail jigs. The unique head design and premium bucktail gives these jigs an action so lifelike fish simply can't resist them. And Buck likes to pair them up with Project X scented swim baits for a combination that is deadly on both fresh and saltwater game fish. So get the jigs used by charter guides, tournament pros, and Buck the Wonder Dog. Whoop-ass jigs. Tie one on and hang on. More time on the water this boating season with an incredibly reliable Honda outboard. Inspired by Honda's legendary automotive technology, 
Honda outboards offer the kind of power, reliability, and fuel efficiency you'd expect from the world's largest engine manufacturer. Whether you're thinking about a new boat or just repowering, you owe it to yourself to look at Honda. See your local Honda Marine dealer or visit us online today. Honda Marine, the power of boating. Prepare for takeoff in three, two, one. There he is. Whoa, look at that. There he is. How about that? There he is. Get you some of that. That is a man right there. So you love to fish the salt. You love the sound of a screaming drag, battling with a bonefish, a cobia, or a tuna. It's in your blood. You don't go fishing, you go catching. And what makes you a saltwater superman is Esca. Esca lure lights trigger natural predator instincts, so game fish bite hard and don't let go. And it's powered by saltwater. Yeah, that's high-tech fishing. Add an Esca to your lure and natural bait and catch more fish. We guarantee it. Get the light that makes fish bite. Get an Esca. One thing I discovered during this boat building process is just how much everyone in the Creval plant truly cared about how they built a boat. There was a great sense of pride and it wasn't just because they were doing a good job, it seemed to run deeper than that. It was as if they were building the boat for their own family. And that's one of our, our hallmarks is we have a uh, notion of maintaining that contact with our customer. So as we grow, our goal is to, is to maintain that connection to our customer uh, and listen to them and we interact with them. We just get all kinds of, of good feedback and that, that's one of our goals is to never lose sight of, of what the customer wants. Next week, we'll visit the Honda Marine test facilities and take the new Wide Open 2 out for its first sea trials. I'll also take you on a tour of all the cool electronics and fishing features of the boat. And I'll show you how we installed the awesome wrap that gives this boat such a distinctive look. Plus, we might even get a little fishing in. Oh my gosh, what a bass. Look at that. Oh, doing the jumping and everything. Come here, sweetheart. That is a largemouth, too. Have you got a favorite fishing destination we ought to visit? Well, drop us a note at Cephas at NutsAndBoltsFishing.com and we might just show up at your back door. Closed captioning for this Nuts and Bolts episode is presented by Scotty, the most trusted name in high-performance downriggers, rod holders, and fishing accessories.